guys, welcome back to the FGC. It's me, Amanda. Today, I am going to do a packing with me video. My bag is already packed. We leave for Vegas this weekend. I'm gonna show you guys what I packed in here. And yes, that means unpacking my bag, unfortunately. But, to help me pack, I created this list inside my planner. You guys probably can't. And it's just to help me remember what I need because my short-term memory is crap. And I also planned out what we're doing every day and the type of outfit that I need for that. So I'm going to walk you through our days while we're gone. And I'll show you what I packed to go. So this will be my first time on a plane. And I honestly did not know what to pack and I've been doing like a lot of research, looking up what can you take on a plane. And we are doing a checked bag. We were originally just going to do a carry-on because we're only going for three days. But I think I reached my 50 pound limit. This bag is really heavy. So my original thoughts were to only pack a couple pair of shoes and make it work with every outfit. And I kind of stuck to that, but... Um, these heels take up a lot of room. And I was not gonna pack heels. I was like, we're going to Vegas, we're gonna be doing a lot of walking around. Who wants to wear heels? But they talked me into it. And <clears throat> honestly, I'm still on the fence. I have four days before we leave. I don't know if these are gonna stay in the suitcase. Like they're super cute, but they just take up a lot of room. They're awkward. Anyway. So, of course, I packed a beach cover-up for my swimsuit when we go to the pool. Our hotel has four pools. Oops, it was already right side in. So this is my cover-up. It's sheer. It goes down to about my knees. I have one that goes all the way down to the ground that's lace, but this one just seemed more practical. I brought my bikini and I have like four or five bathing suits now but this one has the smallest cuffs because all my swimsuits from Torrid have these huge hard cuffs and they would take up a lot of room so this one is like the most you could squish it up into a little ball takes up the least amount of room out of all of my swimsuits. And then I just paired it with these plain black bottoms. I'll try on all these outfits for you so you can see them. But, um, that's my swimsuit. And we're only gonna be going to the pool for like one day with how little time and how much we got to fit into it. I packed these tennis shoes. They're just pink. I found these at a thrift store the other day for $8. They look barely worn. There's no dirty feet prints inside, so I thought they were so cute. They're such a cute white pink color. Go with almost anything. I also packed sandals. I wanted to buy a new pair of sandals, but these ones are gonna have to do because the girl's balling on a budget. For Saturday, when we arrive, we're just going to kind of do some walking around, maybe a pool day. But I brought, I packed this maxi skirt. It's an olive green color. And this black crop top to go with it. And I also am going to wear my bike shorts under it because nobody wants to chafe. <laughs> and that's Saturday's outfit. Saturday is when we arrive off the plane. We'll be there around 11 a.m. So we'll have almost a whole day to do stuff. Saturday, we are going to do like the touristy stuff. We're buying this day, like a two day pass 
So you get into a ton of stuff for really a hundred I think we're spending $125 on this pass and you get into like Vegas the show you can go to the zombie drag show I don't know what any of this stuff is but it sounds fun so I packed these shorts and um, so pair with it I packed this oops <laughs> plain white t-shirt it's just a v-neck I thought it'd be super cute with these shorts and then if it's chilly out there um, pair it with a jean jacket so that's Sunday's outfit Monday uh, actually Sunday we're also going to do this nightclub tour so you get on this party bus they take you around to different nightclubs you get to drink on the bus. So I packed this romper to go out in. It's just plain black. It's not full length. It doesn't go all the way down to my ankles, but it comes like mid calf. I don't know if you guys can see this. It has a little belt on it, but I think I'm gonna look for a belt to pair with it. I kind of want like a chunky belt around the waist and I also have a sequin blazer to go over it to kind of dress it up a little bit so that is all of Sunday Monday we are going to the Grand Canyon I'm super excited. I've never been to the Grand Canyon. Never done anything like this in my life. So, for the Grand Canyon, I packed these bicycle shorts. They have a lace detail at the bottom, which is, like, super cute. And to go with it, I bought this t-shirt from Torrid, and it's a Leonard Skinner, like a band t-shirt. It's tie-dye. It has this detail in the neck area. And I bought it so that it's like oversized. So it'll kind of like hang down and cover my butt in my shorts. <laughs> and then, you know, just essentials, socks, underwear. And I found, actually Brooke found this kit at Walmart. And it came in this clear plastic bag, which I read is what you need for flying, and it came with the shampoo and conditioner, this little deodorant, lotion, toothpaste, and it came with a toothbrush, which I swapped it out for my own, just because the one they gave you didn't have a cover with it, which is kind of weird. And I added sunblock, mascara, perfume, face cream, hair ties, and a nail file and a razor. So this is only $7, but it pretty much has all the essentials that we're going to need. And for three days, we're not going to... I don't foresee me needing more shampoo or conditioner than what I packed. <laughs> Sorry the lighting is so bad. Anyway, I'm going to try these clothes on for you guys. And then pack all this stuff back up. Okay, so here is Saturday's outfit. This is not what I'm going to be wearing on the plane. I am going to switch into it when we get off the plane. But it's just. Pop back on. There. It's got these slits in the side, which I'm still wearing my leggings. But once I wear my shorts, my legs will be showing. The crop top is real simple, and you can't even tell it's a crop top because it meets my skirt. But it's got button details on the front, sheer sleeves, and then the back is pretty open. And I am probably, if we're going to be walking around, I'm going to pair this with tennis shoes. Not the pink ones, I have leopard ones. I'm just going to pair it with these. They're a little dirty, but who cares? Not me. So yeah, this is outfit number one.
Alright, here is Sunday's walking around outfit. It's simple, but these shorts are kind of dressy, so I feel like you can be dressed up or dressed down. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little afraid of my booty popping out the bottom, but I mean, if they get a show, they get a show, right? <laughs> I love these shorts. I just bought them from Tour. I found them on the clearance rack. The button is broke, but once I zip them up and tie them, you can't really tell. They have pockets, <laughs> which is always a bonus, and I don't feel like they stick out when you wear your shorts. I just paired it with a plain tee. No, I'm not gonna leave a sticker on there. But I really like this outfit. This is my first time putting it together. So. Yeah. Sunday's look. Alright, this is my Sunday going out look. I have on the sequin jacket, the black romper. And this is the belt that came with it, which I said, like, I think I'm going to trade it out for something else. This also has pockets, which is great for going out, because who doesn't love pockets? I paired it with this long necklace. It's actually got little diamonds on it. And then just basic diamond stud earrings. So I don't want to take, like, a bunch of jewelry, because I am notorious for losing my jewelry. We went to Detroit for Shannon's birthday, lost my diamond stud earrings. Those were like the fifth pair that I lost. So, try not to lose too much jewelry in this process. But it is Vegas, baby. Anything could happen. Anyway, I like this because it doesn't need the blazer. But I feel like the blazer just adds something extra to it. It's not full length. Yeah. So this is Sunday going out. I wish the lighting was better. You guys are literally taped to my window right now. That is my tripod. We real ratchet up in this house. Okay. And last but not least, we have Monday's outfit. This is the outfit that we are going to the Grand Canyon in. It's an all day tour. We leave at 5.45 in the morning and we won't be back until 6.30 at night. So I wanted something comfortable and cute. And I tied it because I wanted the oversized and comfy look, not oversized and sloppy. Like I don't know how to dress myself look. So my tie won't stay because I don't know how to tie things. Cool. Anyway, just black bike shorts with lace detail, like I said, down here. The shirt is long. I love that it's tie dye. I love the edgy look. So, I'm pairing this with my pink tennis shoes because leopard tennis shoes would not go with this outfit, in my opinion. So, that's it. I'm not going to show you guys my swimsuit because we're not that close yet. <laughs> so, thank you guys for watching. If you have any tips, tricks, if you want to tell me about your traveling experiences, go ahead and leave comments below. Subscribe if you like this video. If you want to see our Vegas trip, keep watching because we're going to post it when we get back. Have a great day. <laughs> I just wanted to say that my eyebrows look really good. And like when the light is finally good, I look tan. But you can totally see my gray hair. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.